Hello, and welcome back to the Coding Hub. In today's video, we will be looking at how to install Visual Studio onto your Chromebook. As Chromebooks are becoming more and more popular, you will see um, you know, their use in everyday life uh, becoming more and more uh, appealing. And uh, now that uh, Linux is coming out of um, um, its beta version, you will um, you will get more and more ability to install some of these Linux applications. And one of these is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is one of my personal favorite um, IDs that I use every day for coding. Um, it has great flexibility in terms of what programming languages you can code on there. You can compile, you can debug, you can do all sorts of stuff and it's absolutely amazing. You can extend it in so many different ways. Um, and it's just perfect for so many different things um, that, you know, it, it's one of the things that you should have on your Chromebook if you are a developer. So how do you install it? So this is hopefully a very quick five minute video that will show you how to uh, install Visual Studio Code. Uh, please uh, subscribe and like to watch more videos like this from our channel. It will help us create more content in the future. Now, how do you get Visual Studio Code onto your computer? Well, first of all, uh, you need to go into settings and make sure you have uh, Linux installed onto your machine. Uh, all you have to do is go into the Chromebook settings and then type in Linux. Uh, my one still says beta, but you know that will change in the next one or two releases of Chrome OS. Make sure you enable it. That will then install a Ubuntu version of Linux onto your computer and uh, you can therefore start installing various different softwares onto your computer like Visual Studio Code. So now that you have that enabled, I won't demonstrate this because it will uh, require a restart and a reboot of your machine, but it's very simple. All you have to do is click yes and then we'll just do the rest for you. Then what you will need to do is go to code.visualstudio.com and here you will be able to get the Visual Studio Code downloadable. This will change depending on what OS version you're running. Uh, it will, uh, the website will hopefully pick that up um, and you can tell here that we're running some sort of Linux. Uh, in our case, it's a Debian version of Linux. So go ahead and download the Debian um, downloadable. So let's just wait for that to finish. And once that finishes downloading, we can go into our downloads folder. Okay, and in your downloads folder, all you have to do is double click that. And Chrome OS has come with a uh, easy installer. So this is actually a lot easier than you, it would be on a, um, you know, Ubuntu or Debian itself. Um, to install an application, just wait for this to load. And come on. There we go. Cool. So, um, yeah, what, what it actually does is it actually picks up, you know, what the application is, its version, and actually a little bit of a description here, which is very, very neat. Um, especially if you've worked with Linux, um, before, uh, this is actually a lot easier than any other Linux distribution. Uh, so yeah, just click install and the installation pro process begins. Uh, you can close this and then, yeah, you just have to wait for this to install. So let's give it a couple of minutes, hopefully not that long. And what, once this is installed and we run it, what happens is um, it, it, uh, when you run the application, it actually runs on a virtual machine that runs um, Linux that's been integrated into Chrome OS. That's how Linux applications work. And you can give access to those applications uh, on Linux, um, access to different files on your Chromebook, um, uh, and folders and, and vice versa as well. So you can see here I've got um, uh, I've got my Linux uh, files, I've got my 
Play files, which are essentially the Android uh, applications, and then I've got Downloads, uh, which is my Chrome OS um, files. Um, so it can be a little bit confusing for new users, but essentially you have a separate file system in a way for your Chromebook, your Linux, and your Android. Um, so this is nearly finished. The last three percent. Okay, perfect. And once it's installed, all you have to do is type in Visual Studio Code and open it up. This will then, uh, the first time you open up an application that uses Linux, when you first load up Chrome OS, it takes a little bit of time to kick in the virtual machine, but any future ones will load up a lot quicker just because the virtual machine is already run. And as you can see here, uh, Visual Studio loads, and it's picked up some of my previous installations on here because I uninstalled it and then reinstalled it for the purposes of this video. But uh, you can see here if Let's say you're installing a new version, it will show you the latest uh, version changes in Visual Studio Code. Um, and if you're like me and for some reason you uninstall Visual Studio Code, uh, it will then remember all your extensions that you previously had and reapply those uh, to Visual Studio Code. So yeah, so that's, uh, so that's everything. Uh, that's how you get Visual Studio Code onto your Chromebook. I hope this uh, video has helped you and I hope um, you, I will catch you in my future videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.